everyone, welcome back to my channel. I did mention in my previous Christmas gift guide, which if you haven't seen, I will link it above somewhere. I did a main one and I also did a stocking filler gift guide. And I asked on a poll on both Instagram and YouTube, would you guys like to see a children's and a men's version? A majority of you all said yes, so that's what I'm filming today. I actually have the children's gifts over there that are in my line of vision. I'm so excited about it, they look so cool. And I also have 10 gift ideas for men here as well. So I'm gonna split it into two parts. I'm gonna do the men's first, which I hope you all enjoy. I've chosen 10 gifts. Again, a lot of these are gift ideas. You can really tailor make it towards your budget, spend as much or as little as you would like, but I feel like all of these gifts would make fantastic options when it comes to gifting to the men in your life. So if that's something that you're interested in, and let's get started. I hope you like my tree in the background. This is the first year we've had a real tree, and I'm so excited about it. It smells incredible. I love it and I'm so excited about it. I'm sorry if the lighting isn't that great, but I really wanted to film with the tree in the background, so I hope you really like it. And I just thought I would get started. So let's begin with gift number one, which is one of my favorite things to gift Andrew every single year, and it is aftershave. So I feel like aftershave is one of those things that a lot of guys don't necessarily buy for themselves. Like they'd love to get it, but I, especially with my Andrew, like he doesn't go out and buy himself aftershave that often. Maybe it's because I constantly buy him it so he doesn't feel the need to, but I do like to get him a new scent every few months. And the one that I've opted for today is one he's had before and I really enjoy it and he loves it as well. So I thought it's a great one for him to go for. And it is the Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. Again, this is something that I'm giving Andy this year. I really love it, it's the 90ml. And this is such a fantastic fragrance for this time of year. It's woody, it's heavy, it's heady, it's peppery, it's sexy, and it's really, really lovely for this time of year because it's such a warming scent that we both really enjoy. And I'm really excited that he has this back in his collection because I love the smell of it so much. The next gift idea is alcohol. So Andy tends to get quite a nice selection of alcohol throughout the Christmas season because it's his birthday on Christmas Eve. So come the new year, we are literally um, alcohol full. I actually don't drink ever, if at all, so I don't, I don't really get alcohol gifted to me, but I know it makes a lovely gift and Andrew really enjoys it. And again, throughout the year, I do like to gift him with slightly more special options. So this one is the Labrut and Graham Woodford Reserve Distillers Select. So this was slightly pricier, I'm not going to lie, but it's a lovely, lovely bottle. Um, and it's a Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, which I think, with a mince pie, he's gonna be living his best life. Again, I like to get in ones that are slightly more special for Christmas time. You know, you have people popping around quite often, you have a lot more social things happening, and it's nice to have something a little bit more special in your booze cabinet to give them. If you don't like alcohol, or if, like myself, you don't drink alcohol, I feel like gifting foodie kind of related things is a really good idea. So you can switch this up and perhaps gift them a really lovely oil set if they love their cooking, perhaps like, a Starbucks set with coffee or a really nice kind of coffee um, blend I think would be a really lovely option. Just something really lovely and indulgent for them to eat or drink. I think it's a fantastic idea. And speaking of indulgent things to eat or drink, of course, chocolate. So chocolate is a thing that I love to gift and I love to receive at Christmas time. And I mentioned this one in my main Christmas gift guide because again, it is unisex. And this is the Hotel Chocolat Christmas Hage Box Selection. So every year they bring out this hage box and it's filled with their best selling Christmas chocolates and truffles and it, honestly we have this every year and it tastes incredible so I really wanted to pick one up this year for Andrew's stocking and this basically has truffles in it, caramels, pralines, like everything that you could want and again I think chocolate is something that you can really tailor make to your budget. You can go to like discount stores and bargain stores and get something that's more affordable and um, Ferrero Rocher or you can go and get something slightly more special. This isn't too expensive. It's like £13 for the box, which I think is quite reasonable. It's a safe bet as well. I mean, who doesn't like chocolate? If someone doesn't like chocolate, that says more about them than it does about your gift giving. The next option I have is a lovely watch. So Andrew collects watches, and this is one of his gifts this year. And we got it from the brand Nord Green Copenhagen, and their packaging and the ethics behind this brand are wonderful. They do a lot with charity, they do a lot for the environment, and if I'm spending a lot of money on a watch, it's nice to know that I'm giving back in some way by supporting brands that give back, again, to the environment, to charity and that kind of thing. And this brand, the ethics behind it are fantastic. I will link more information on them down below as well as a discount code that I have. But the one that I chose for Andrew, and again, the packaging and the aesthetics is gorgeous. But I got him one that was quite simple because he has some quite, um, 
busy watches I would say he has some like big chunky ones by Citizen he has rotary watches but I wanted to get him something that was more simple ideal for everyday wear and he doesn't have one with a brown leather strap so I've gone for this one it has a really simple face with the date on it as well and I just really liked it I loved the richness of the conquer leather I think it's a really pretty color especially for this time of year and I loved the brushed um, darker exterior that it has on the face I just really liked it I, I saw this watch and I instantly gravitated towards it so I really love that I'm gonna make sure that he doesn't watch this video though because some of these gifts are his actual presents um, but yeah I really liked this and again if you're looking for a lovely watch to gift someone this year I think Nord Green are a fantastic brand to look into and keep on your radar so again I will link this down below I think it was about £160 so not too expensive um, but again I think a watch is a fantastic idea as well because it's something that Again, most guys love to receive, but they don't treat themselves to all that often. The next option I have is a nice case for their phone. So guys love gadgets. I mean, my guy does. It's probably a really broad generalization, but Andrew loves his phone cases and that kind of thing. So I thought I would gift him one from KSAP this year. Now, I actually haven't ordered Andrew's yet. I'm thinking about getting him a customizable one with our photograph on it or a photograph of him and the kids. But just to show you the kind of quality that you can get, I thought I would show you a couple of options that I have for my phone from KSAP. Um, that I really do like. So, um, these are the kind of the only sort of neutral options that I have in my collection. The rest of them are quite girly, but these options are both wonderful, um, especially this monochrome one here. And this is one of the stronger ones as well. So not only do they look great, but they protect your phone as well. And I just find them so unique. This one has like this whale watercolor print on it, which Andy really likes as well. So yeah, I think a case app and phone case or any kind of phone case is a really good option. Just because, again, it's not something that most guys would go out and buy themselves. It's a great gift option. It's something different. It's not something that they're going to get every single day and it's something that they will use all of the time, especially if they're on their phones quite a bit. It's nice to make sure that they're protected. So yeah, a nice phone case is a really lovely option. So when I was speaking to Andy and I was asking him like what he would like to get for Christmas, uh, what I should include in this gift guide, he was very insistent that this next gift feature. Now, Andy loves playing on his PlayStation 4, his Xbox or whatever they call it. Like he has most of the consoles if I'm honest. But I've never heard him talk or praise the game as much as I've heard him talk about this one. Um, and it's Red Dead Redemption number two, or Red Red Redemption two. He loves this game so much, and I've heard of, of it. So I feel like it's got amazing reviews. Everyone is banging on about it. If your husband or anyone in your life loves gaming and loves this kind of thing, I feel like most people would love to get this for Christmas. It's current, it's got amazing reviews, it's just meant to be incredible and I have to say I've watched Andy play on this and visually it looks incredible I mean I don't know much about the backstory of it I feel like it's a cowboy related game so maybe it's set in the wild west I'm not too sure but I know how much he loves it and I know how popular it is so I feel like if you have someone in your life that loves their gaming and they don't have this this would be a fantastic game to get them because it's got such amazing reviews everyone's writing it up as a masterpiece so Andy was very insistent that this would feature the next gift I have is a jumper and I always love to get Andy clothes for Christmas and his birthday. His birthday is actually on Christmas Eve so I kind of mix it. I'll give him some stuff for Christmas and some stuff for his birthday. So he ends up with quite a lot but it's spread out over two kind of occasions. And I do like to get him nice outfits to wear throughout the festive season. And one thing that I picked him up that I really did like um, is this jumper by French Connection. So it's just a basic knit really, there's nothing overly special about it but it's the quality and how soft this feels. I feel like this is something that he will wear a lot of the time, like it's a really simple um, jumper but it's one that is classic and he'll get a lot of wear out of it. The fabric is so so soft, he has a lot of French Connection stuff and the quality is always really great. And But again, that's more of an idea, a nice knit, a nice jumper, something that's going to keep them nice and cosy over the Christmas season I think is a really fantastic option. And clothes in general, if you feel like you know that they're lacking something, like they need more jeans, they need a jacket, they need a coat, they need whatever, it's a great time to give those kind of things because if your man is anything like Andy, He's a bugger to get to go clothes shopping. I don't know if it's just because it's a drawn out process with me, but yeah, I think clothes make a really fantastic option. And speaking of keeping them warm and cozy, this is a gift that I got for Andy about four years ago, which is testament just to how much he loves it and also how much it's used and how worn it is. And it is this beautiful scarf by Ralph Lauren. Now, I'm not going to lie, the color 
is what attracted me to this when I bought it for him. It's got the little logo on there as well, but it's really understated um, because the colour is quite loud. It's like this burnt rust orange and I loved the colour of this so much that I couldn't not pick it up for him. It was quite pricey. Number one, it's Ralph Lauren. Number two, it's 100% cashmere. So I think it was about £150. So it wasn't the cheapest. But he's had it for four years and it has stayed looking new. And he has wore it so much. Um, and again, a scarf is something where you can spend as little or as much as you would like. It's just more the idea. It's something really thoughtful. It's going to keep them nice and cosy. And I just love this. Andy would never spend a lot of money on a scarf, especially he would never go for cashmere just because he's not he's not really like that bothered. But I feel like to get things like this for gifts, they cherish them forever. So I wanted to treat him to something that's slightly more special. And honestly, this looks just as good as it did four years ago. So it is money well spent in my opinion. And we adore it. And I also love the, the little logo, the Ralph Lauren logo here, is purple. It's just so gorgeous. I love it so much. I actually wear it myself on the odd occasion when he's not wearing it. And the last two gifts, one of them is physically not here, so I'll tell you about that at the end. But the next gift I have is, again, it's kind of along that same vein of keeping them warm and cosy. And I chose this because Andy actually needed one, so I felt like it was a good way to get him something that he needed, but also something that was quite special. And it is a new Parker. So I picked this up for Andrew um, and it's this gorgeous parka with this really lovely fluffy hood and it's just really warm, it's padded, it's weatherproof, it's waterproof and this is by the brand Shot, oh is it Scott? NYC. I'm not too sure, I'll link it down below. It's about £140, it wasn't the cheapest but it's so heavy and warm and comfortable and again it's it's a parka but it's quite fitted so I think it'll look really flattering on his shape um, because sometimes parkas can be quite cumbersome and quite big and make it look like a big marshmallow but this is quite fitted, quite stylish which I really did like and he loved that one so I thought I would treat him to it. I know he's been looking at it for a while so I thought I would get it. And the last gift in this gift guide is an experience day. So this isn't something that I can physically show to you but it's something that I feel like most guys would appreciate. I know my brother-in-law got a Ferrari ride or a Ferrari trip um, as an experience day and he absolutely loved it and raved about it. And I've had a few before where I've gone for a spa day, afternoon tea. So I feel like if you want something that's more of a memory that you can do together, or if you want something that's a bit more sort of unique and special, you could gift an experience day. I know that Virgin do some really great ones. I know if you wanted to go all, all out, you can get like shark diving experiences, snorkeling, that kind of thing, ice skating experiences, tours around London, things like that. So that's a really lovely option that I kind of feel like sometimes gets overlooked. Like if you're not bothered about having a physical gift you're more about creating memories and going out and doing things together and experience they could be a fantastic option for you so that's it that's all of the gift ideas that I have for you today I'm thinking about doing these every year so if this one goes down well I would definitely do them and I might make them into giveaways um, every year because I think that would be a really lovely option so give this a thumbs up if you would like to see these on the yearly basis subscribe if you're new to see more from me and comment down below let me know what you're gifting the guys in your life this year because I'd be really interested to know and let me know what you think about these gifts here as well. Thanks for hanging, I hope you're all having the best day and enjoying your December so far and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!